Barna just did this study. Barna Group does a study of Christians all across the West, in, in Canada, and in, in the U.S. And there's this article they wrote that was mind-boggling to me. It said two out of five Christians are not engaged in discipleship. What does that even mean? Like that's an oxymoron. That doesn't make any sense. There is no Christian without being a disciple of Jesus. The defining bar of what it means to be a Christian is, is so low these days. You can like Jesus, pick a few things in the Bible that you know, stand out to you, disregard the rest, and come out to an Easter service if you feel like it, and that's what it means. You have a kind of a Christian worldview on life, but there's nothing actually changing in your life. It's what C.S. Lewis wrote in his book, The Screwtape Letters. It's this fictional book between uh, a demon who's an uncle and a, and a nephew demon, and they're writing letters back and forth, and the uncle demon's kind of mentoring this demon, and he's saying to him, the nephew demon has this patient, this person that he's kind of assigned to, and he says he's freaking out that this person just became a Christian. He just converted it to Christianity. He's like, he's writing the uncle demon. He's like, what do I do? How do I win him back? What do I do? And uncle demon's just like leaning back in his chair. And he's like, don't worry. This happens like hundreds and hundreds of times. And he writes to him and says, all his habits, both mental and bodily, are still in our favor. Like, what does it mean to be a Christian divorced from any sense of ministry? It's what Paul or what John warns us in 1 John 3, 18. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions in the truth. John, just letting you know your new identity you took on is defined by love for others, not just in word and theory and theology and talking, but actual doing stuff, action, living out your life. Now, this sounds like works righteousness, doesn't it? We like get our back up when it's the sense of like, we have these two things of grace and works, right? And we pin them against each other. It's all about the gospel, it's about grace, freedom, it's a gift, you can't earn it. Liberty in Jesus, works is about the law, religion, you gotta, you gotta do all the 10 commandments and earn your salvation. We put these things against each other. No, grace flows into works. Grace expects works of you of your life. Expects fruit from the tree that has been planted that you graft into the fruit of Jesus, of the tree of Jesus, that you'd bear fruit in your life. The question is, it's not about them against each other, it's about one flowing from the other. And it just matters what direction. Grace flows into works. Works doesn't flow into grace. We don't earn salvation. We don't earn grace. We don't earn love from God. We don't earn his approval. But out of his approval, out of his love, out of what he's done for us, the free gift, it moves us to be people of ministry.